And tired of a school district giving them the silent treatment, now parents are turning to News 4. Yeah, the Hazelwood District has yet to respond to a long list of concerns from parents. They tell only News 4's Melanie Johnson the issues are concerning not only for their children's safety, but that of teachers too. Parents in the Hazelwood School District tell me that they are fed up with the district because when they have a problem with their student, they are being ignored and they plan to be here at the school board meeting next week to say it to their face. Quit playing games, quit hiding and come and talk to us. We're asking you answer us. More parents coming to News 4 unsatisfied and calling out Hazelwood schools for violating student rights and they say ghosting when asking for help from academics to behavior. It hurts. It's frustrating. I feel like you're hiding something. You're running. Don't run. Just talk to me. Do you think the Hazelwood School District is transparent? No. No, I do not feel that they're transparent because anything as simple as responding to a simple email, responding to a simple phone call, and you don't have the time to do that, no, there's something, there, there isn't transparency there. Parent and pastor Michael Williams sent out a list of demands on behalf of families on Monday. As of Wednesday, he says Hazelwood has been quiet. So we have every right to receive what we're paying for. I'm paying my tax dollars to someone who doesn't show any compassion, no empathy, and it's just unprofessional. We took their concerns to the Hazelwood School District and instead of commenting on not responding to parents, they said they do not comment on individual student matters and are more focused on maintaining positive relationships. Tara Sweets doesn't buy it and is on the verge of pulling her second child out of the district. I got tired of hearing fights at school and I got tired of him feeling he was not receiving the proper education that he felt that he needed to thrive. So I pulled him out. This fight happened at Hazelwood West last year. But for years, these types of incidents have been one of the top complaints to News 4 from Hazelwood parents. As a teacher, what I'm seeing are my son saying, I don't feel my teachers care about me. When I know that the teachers do care. But when teachers are feeling that they can't voice their concerns, when they're feeling they're being intimidated, they're just coming to work just to survive. The Hazelwood School Board meets next Tuesday. These parents and their students plan to be there. So will News 4. Melanie Johnson, News 4.